God bless you. Welcome back and thank you for staying tuned to this channel. Thank you for liking, subscribing and sharing. I see that the last message I shared with you on the weapon of peace was well received. It was a blessing to you and I thank you for um, showing me that it was a blessing to you by liking and sharing with others. So today we are still on the topic of uh, weapons needed for battle. And we want to cover the weapon of faith. Now, what do you know about faith? It's a belief system, right? It's, it's having a belief and a hope in something that you really don't know how it's going to turn out, what you're believing, it's going to work out together for good. According to Hebrew 11, the Bible said that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. In simple terms, it's just saying it's having a belief in something that you don't really see and making preparation for it. So um, there's, there's, there's different type and different levels of faith. Um, why is it important in battle? Why can't I just use the, use the word and prayer to battle with? Because after you've done praying and you still don't see an answer, and after you're done using the word and you still don't see an answer, you need faith to take you to that, that next level in knowing that God is going to come through for you. One of the greatest men in the Bible that used faith was Elijah. I know you all know about Joe, but for me, my favorite is Elijah. Why? Because every time God tells Elijah something, he stands on the word of God. Yes, we know that there was a time when he was running from Jezebel. But when he settled down to doing God's will, even when it looks like it's dead, he's trusting in God and he's seen beyond the natural. Hence, he was taken up on a chariot of fire. Man of great faith. One of my best and favorite um, scripture verse in the Bible is written about the woman of Zarephath. When Elijah was sent from the brook, a devastating place, a place where there was no more resource because the brook dried up. And God said, I'm sending you to Zarephath a woman who's going to sustain you with bread he went and he asked the woman for food of course what did she say I'm gonna leave, eat my last meal and die Elijah didn't ask God did you make a mistake Elijah didn't ask the woman if she had plans for next week or she, he didn't he didn't argue he didn't fuss he didn't fight with her all he said is you will not die bake me a cake first because he know when God says something God is going to come true and so we read the story that she baked made him the bread or the cake and her meal multiplied so today I want to encourage you that if you believe in God and if you trust in God he is going to make a way for you Ephesians 6 16 say you should take the shield of faith because it is going to withstand the fiery darts of the enemy so if you are in battle and you have your shield in one hand and you have your sword in the other the quickest thing to to run for refuge is your shield because um, automatically your reflexes is going to call upon your shield use your shield as a, as a, as a defense mechanism right so you need that faith to help you to keep going back to keep going back to god even when you don't see an answer even when you pray and you open your eyes and the red sea is still before you you need faith to take you to the next level amen matthew 21 22 say whenever you ask believing you must receive and have you must believe and have faith to receive it when you go to god and you ask God for something, it, it, it needs faith to help you to receive whatever God has in store for you. But also say in Hebrews 11, 6, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Amen. Mark eleven twenty two, it says that faith will allow you to move mountain. I remember when I was praying to God, about a situation and I heard in my spirit I'm going to turn your mountain into dust you must believe when you go to God in prayer you must believe that God is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him you have to earnestly
Seek him earnestly. Seek him in season and out of season. Trust in him. Because when you use the weapon of faith to withstand the, the, the darts of the enemy, God will see you through. Thank you for staying tuned today. Be blessed in Jesus' name.